Marnie, can I have that hot chocolate? Oh, yes, darling, of course. And extra fluffy marshmallows, just like you like it. What are you reading? Oh, I'm not. Just looking at the pictures. Oh, Jess, fancy that. Of course, I was more of a card girl myself, but James, on the other hand. Oh, yes, uh, University Grandmaster, threes in a row. I could dust off the old board, give you a lesson if you like. Mm, no, thanks. And your excuse for not spending time with your family is? Got plans with Perry, but I don't need an excuse. You have been spending an awful lot of time together. Could say the same about you and Steve. Mm, and he doesn't spend all of his time dossing at the Lomaxes. Nor have I just been released from prison. Sweetheart, we're just worried about you. I'm enjoying my freedom, all right? But if you two want to die of boredom over a stupid chess game, please don't let me stop you. Mm. Steve, where have you been? We've run out of milk and the bank's been on the phone. Me and Sid got called to do a cleaning job for Tom. Is that all right with you? Sorry. I hardly slept last night thinking about what happened with Martine yesterday. It's just scary to think how the decisions you make can be influenced by things you're not consciously aware of. Fergus, come in, mate. Emergency situations demand an emergency response. Emergency? It's, this is Fergus. You two are we, Brad. It's Perry, my niece. Yeah, it's just a few groceries to tide you over. But uh, don't worry, there's no small print. Thanks so much. What's that smell? What smell? No, it's nothing. I'll, uh, I'll put this in the kitchen for you. What was all that about? It's just some big-wig property developer who knows we're strapped for cash. And? Stay. He offered to buy our house of us before. He offered to buy our house because we couldn't pay one electricity bill. Everybody get out! Get out as a gas leak! I mean, yeah, that house I told you about. Yeah, it's ready. But we've got to move fast. Are you in? Honestly, this day can't get any weirder. One minute, Steve's saying we've had an offer to buy our house. Then the next, this Fergus bloke's legging it out of the kitchen, yelling there's been a gas leak. See, so your house could have blown up. Oh, yeah. Then we wouldn't have been broke, we'd have been homeless as well. Steve, we could have been killed. Maybe this is the wake-up call you both needed. Stop worrying about lecky bills and actually start living. I'm glad you're safe. See ya. Thanks for taking my call before. Listen, Brad was a colleague, but when it comes to business, I'm not one for sentimentality. Fergus, has the gas board been out yet? <sighs> no need. Turns out someone was careless with the hob. Hang on. So there was no leak? I fried some eggs before, but I swear I switched everything off. Well, as long as everyone's safe. And thanks to Warren, who very kindly offered to help me out. You'll continue to be safe going forward. I installed a few carbon monoxide alarms downstairs. No, I stuck a couple in upstairs, just in case. Honestly, guys, thanks. <laughs> Unfortunately, I will have to charge you for this one, all right? Fergus, why don't you make us an offer on the house? Do you think that's right? Why are we wasting time worrying about bills? It's offering us a way out. I guess an offer can't hurt us. I'll get something sent over straight away. Great. I'll speak to Leela. It's about time she knew what was going on around here. What well I told you. We saved the day. Except the ring wasn't left on, was it? So come on, Fergus. What are you up to? It's an old trick in the art of sealing a deal. You get the client to feel they can trust you with their lives. Get the sign on the dotted line, and then take them for every penny they have. Leela, you will not regret it. Say hi to Aunt Libby for me. See you later. What's happened to you? Steph getting all banksy with her poster paints, that's what happened. How'd it go with Mum? 
course, she had a massive go at me for not telling her about my finances, but she's looked at the guy's offer and she said if it's going to help us out in the long term, she trusts us if we want to go for it. And do we want to go for it? Well, what's stopping us? The offer's too good to turn down. Know that for a fact, do you? Penny, he's just saved us from a near gas explosion. That man has showed me more kindness in one day than some people have in an entire lifetime. I say we go for it. OK. OK, let's do it. Fergus, you little superstar. It's going to be a pleasure doing business with you. Thank you.